Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's make sure we're actually live. And then let's get my phone plugged in so I can charge while I'm streaming. Hello, everyone. We are about to get started here. As soon as I get the usual things out of the way. Um, get a tweet out, get a discord out, and then we're going to be kicking off. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I guess the kickoff is more maybe when the tutorial is published because it's not actually March yet, but we'll be recording the kickoff of Water Marble March. So let me get a tweet. There's the tweet, and let's get a Discord message sent. <clears throat> uh, bum, 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 bum. I'm really quite tired. I thought I would perk up a little bit, but I'm sure I will as the stream goes on, because it's kind of impossible not to. Actually, actually send that. Oh, Amethyst, LJ, hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am <clears throat> almost ready. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit scatterbrained, but luckily we did testing, so I don't have to figure out too much. I just need to... Uh, well, I mean, hopefully they cooperate. Like when we were testing on, I guess it was Saturday, we did a couple tests with a black base, which, I mean, the black does really make it holographic under super direct light. Hey, Fuzzy. Um, but it makes it harder to see the actual design. So then I was considering simple swirls and I just wasn't pleased with like how any of these were coming out like this one was probably the closest with the purple like inside the teal but by the time you get to the tip of the spiral it's like it was just fading out they weren't cooperating quite the way I wanted them to be hey sunburnt <clears throat> a man called uh <clears throat> Amethyst I haven't but I want to where they like sharpie on the plate and then Basinji lover thank you so much for the host um where they like sharpie on the plate and then I think I, I'm trying to remember I think I maybe saw it once without any polish but then I've also seen it where you like sharpie it and then you white polish or like a silver hollow polish and then pick it up and then put it on your nails <clears throat> Um, that I, you know, I hadn't thought about that technique in a long time, but it is something I want to try. I have a couple Sharpie things that I want to do. Um, did I say hi, Karen? I'm feeling a little bit scatterbrained, you guys. Um, and to actually today, I found my silver Sharpie. So I'd like to try and do some, some marbly type of stuff with that. Um, we were just looking over the tests from Sunday um, we were looking at the spirals, of course, and none of them quite turned out how I wanted, and the black base also didn't turn out how I wanted. But what we did come up with, we, we played around a little bit with some other colors, too. And, of course, if you missed that stream, you can watch the VOD, or is it on YouTube yet? It's... Is it on YouTube? I'm so confused. <clears throat> I've got a whole bunch of Hollow Knight videos that I have to get on my other channel. And I've had so many videos like out of order and weird stuff. I'm not sure if Sunday's video's on YouTube yet. <laughs> or Saturday's video. 
I'm, I'm, I don't know, but it will be soon <laughs> if you want to check out the actual testing. Um, the one we actually decided we really liked was this more actually really swirly design, like not spiral swirls, but like actually like swirls. So this is what we're going to be doing today. I kind of was debating like do I want to do like the hollow as a base do I want to just do white as a base and like the difference between these is very very faint I'm not sure if you even can tell this side has silver as the base and this side just has white like I don't maybe I, I mean I probably should start out with a couple of coats of white anyway but do I want to add a coat of the uh, hollow silver, which we're using, oops, China Glaze OMG colors, these ones. Like, the difference is so subtle, I just wonder if, how much it would really impact the, the hollowness of it. You know what I mean? And again, this is hollow base, non-hollow base. Super, super subtle. I guess we can think about that as we're, as we're working. <clears throat> yeah more abstract swirls save the hollow and use the white I've got a lot of it I mean I've got plenty actually I don't have as much as I thought <laughs> like oh I've got plenty looks can visibly see how low the bottle is I mean not low but just a little bit lower than I thought so maybe you're maybe you're right on that LJ <laughs> Well, you know what that probably means, though, Amethyst, is that as soon as they get done, he'll probably be ready to crash. You use up all his energy. Of course, I suppose you don't want him to go and crash too early, or then you also run into problems. Um, okay, so we have a cup of water. We're, I mean, we, we did the testing. We're getting right into the manicure. Um, I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to do my next testing and my next manicure. Like, like I said, we had the other tests, but none of them worked out really quite how I wanted them so I'm not I'm not positive what comes next after this if it works out it would actually be kind of great if I could fit in some testing like early Friday afternoon before I go to grandma's house or maybe Friday after I get home from grandma's but I usually like I don't always know when I'm going to get home from grandma's and sometimes I get home quite late but I don't want to stream too late on Saturday because I kind of want to participate in the race on Saturday. Um, camera. We need the big camera. Come here, big camera. How's your battery? Um, yeah, I better just change it just to be on the safe side. Oh, we both, you both nap today. Uh, naps are so nice sometimes. I thought about taking one, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to, uh, like I seem to be tired lately regardless of how much sleep I get. I think it's partly stress related, but it's like I take a nap and I wake up and I'm still tired. And then I just feel like that nap time was just wasted because I don't even feel refreshed or anything. <laughs> Tell him hi from us, LJ. Hopefully he can get over his uh, life-threatening illness soon. <laughs> Alright, just get this on here. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Um, 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 um. Let's clean off the nails. Let's not get the fresh paper towel wet. Oh, so I hope you guys are all doing well this evening. I'm not doing like poorly. I'm just not, I don't know. I don't feel 100%. I definitely don't feel as sick as I did but I don't feel like 100%. And there's like IRL shit going on right now and everything, but I don't know. Stream is always 
Somebody said the other day, who was it? I should have should have made a note stream therapy and sometimes it really like it really is just get my mind focused on something else for a little while <laughs> I hate when that happens nap without preparation And he was in your lap. Aw. It, it really can vary, Polished Soul. I think the most I ever did was 11 or maybe 12. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like this year. I don't want to overextend myself. I'd like to get at least two a week done. So that would be like eight or nine. Um... Also, you know, might do a few on my mom, so that'll add a couple. Don't know. Pro probably not on stream, unfortunately, you guys. Sorry to, to disappoint you all, but I don't think my mom is made out for streaming. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you have an unexpected day off and it's not like you can go do errands or whatever, especially if it's like... Like you said, for snow and ice, it's like, oh, he told me to stay home because it's too dangerous. Let's go shopping. <laughs> you know, so you got to kind of, I don't know, amuse yourself at short notice. All right, we're just about clean here. I'm really looking closely at, I've got, like my peeling on my right middle nail is slightly more under control, but both of my index nails... See that right there? Peeling. God, my cuticle looks so dry there too. Oh. Actually, no, I can't. I can't deal with that. That I gotta trim that little bit off. So dry. I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera. I know I don't want to make you guys wince. Just this little tiny bit right there. Hmm. I don't usually cut my cuticles, but sometimes in the winter they just, like it's not a hangnail yet, but if you leave it alone it will probably degenerate into a hangnail of some sort. So there, that looks better. Still a little bit like right, is it right here? It's like, it, I don't know, I suppose nobody will ever be looking at it as much as I am when I'm looking at it in the in the camera preview but well except for you guys because you might be watching who knows what size monitor you're watching this on anyway the area i'm trying to show it's not my crusty cuticles it's this area right here where the peeling is happening and we've got the same going on here although it's not not as visible on camera man when you get this close your cuticles just look horrible i thought my cuticles were looking okay <laughs> I'll just get this little spot there too. All right. Zoom you guys back out. Get out of my business. There, see? Look, my cuticles are fine. They're beautiful. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> oh, some some days it does seem like that, Karen. I had one day where it was it was showing me it was showing me an ad if I would change the uh, the quality of the stream. Like you can go in the gear icon sometimes and change the quality. It depends. For partners, it's always there. For affiliates, it depends. Uh, and if I did that, then it would show me another ad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, if I if I do her nails, I will still record them. I just won't stream them. She doesn't seem to mind having her having her hands on camera. I think I don't know. Maybe she's worried she'd say something silly. Or I told her we didn't have to show her face, but it's fine. Actually, let's um let's move my footrest here so I can get up in here a little bit more because. Uh, 
it's going to need a good vantage point for water marbling. Oh, okay. Oops. I love this little footrest. It's got like storage inside of it. So that's where like most of my gaming stuff goes when I'm not using it like my controllers and my headphones. Well, like I have multiple controllers and headphones. Um, but that way they're like out of the way, but they're still close by. <clears throat> yeah, but none of us say anything silly in here. Botsbot said innocently. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Do I have a cough drop here? I didn't really realize I was this horse prior to streaming. Because, you know, I don't sit around talking to myself. <laughs> so, hopefully I can talk and suck on this and not make too many noises into the microphone that are inappropriate. And get my nails done. So, mm, <clears throat> and if anybody's wondering, it's a Ricola. <clears throat> wow, look at that. It's like instantly lubricated my throat, y'all. Ricolas are miraculous. Hello, Evan. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Get started here. <clears throat> Starting off with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. It's kind of hard to just talk like completely normal, well, YouTube normal, <laughs> with a with a cough drop tucked in my cheek. <laughs> mm. I think that was okay. Mm. And I got out, I was gonna dig and dig to find white on white, but then I got lazy. So I just have my other China glaze white. And I don't think I ever got around to comparing the two to see what's actually different about them. But I remember using this one one time, thinking it was white on white and going to say your name and checking it. And it's white out because they have multiple whites, apparently. I'm assuming one is probably a little bit, you know, quote unquote, warmer. I, don't, I got this cough drop. It's like I got to I can't talk too much like with my mouth pointed down is generating so much saliva <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna just like drool on myself if my mouth is not <laughs> hmm. mm -mm. what about Rite Aid although we don't really have any of those around here are they going out of business or something is all their nail polish on sale <laughs> I mean it would suck if they were going out of business too but All right, I'm trying to be careful and neat here. And I really am not sure you guys, like I, like I said, I was gonna stream, well, like I said, posted, I guess, in Discord, I was gonna stream earlier. And then I was like, you know, that's kind of like asking for trouble, like expecting the stream to go properly and be short and be wrapped up in a reasonable amount of time for dinner. Um, Cause like reasonably, if everything goes smoothly, we should be able to get this done in like, an hour two, two if I'm really like poking along Beanie is so cute right now Beanie you adorable boy um so I decided it would be smart to to eat first and not like count on it going well because you never know when water marbles are gonna decide to show their ass and not work properly <clears throat> oh no son like, uh, I want to call them rivets. I don't think that's quite the right word, but oh no. That's just like when I, sp when I spilled that vial of hex glitter the other 
couple weeks ago. We're gonna let this dry for a minute, you guys. Mmm. <clears throat> Man, I wonder I wonder what state I would have to drive to <laughs> to get to a Rite Aid. Or maybe there are some here in Minnesota and I just don't know about. That's pretty big though, I think. Because like where Rite Aids are, they're like the main the main place, right? I don't know. We used to have Snyders around here. I don't think there are any Snyders left. And Walgreens, and then now we got CVS too. I mean I get recently I was gonna say and then I started thinking about it I'm like how long have we had CVS like it's it's been a while but they weren't here when I was a kid we'll put it that way <clears throat> mm -hmm. some okay so I must have bought this with why 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 have I marked this like this on the cap, you guys? Does anybody know or remember? One of them is this one, I think. Mm. No, because there wasn't a green in this collection, or maybe those are dots of color club holographic. I mean, obviously this was meant to mean something. But what? <clears throat> Mm. I will I will probably never know what that was supposed to remind me of. Oh well. Okay, so we've got the white on white. The two night. Mm-hmm. And uh what's this? Yeah, deviate and OMG. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> He's really, like, a lot of times he lays like that, but he lays facing away from the camera. So, that he's, like, all snugged up and cozy and facing the camera is, like, a bonus. What a good boy. Yeah, you sleepyhead. Oh, he did open his eyes. <laughs> Look kind of irritated, too, don't he? Like, shut up, human. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sometimes I would do that too. Like, I th I thought I had marked the good black. In fact, yes, I had. See, look, at the good black has hollow in the top too. Well, it's hard to tell that it's hollow, but I, I'm pretty sure that is OMG in the top there, and that's supposed to tell me that this is the good black, the one coder. I remember that. Because not all liquid, lever liquid leathers are created equal. This one is a one coat black. It's freaking phenomenal. I have many other bottles which are not. Maybe this is to indicate this is a one coat white. We'll see y'all in a minute. <clears throat> hey, Beth <Lure. clears throat> All right. Let's uh, announce these colors and get our base coat. We're just gonna go with white. I think that would be best. We'll just go just white. St straight up white white base. <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using in today's marble are from the China Glaze OMG Flashback Collection. The teal is Deviate. The blue is Tonight. And the silver is OMG. I'll be using China Glaze Whiteout as my base color. This cough drop's almost gone. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm trying not to slurp so bad on camera or on microphone or I don't know both either something. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's not one coat. It's fairly opaque-ish for a white. Or maybe, maybe, you guys, it was just meant to, to, like, point out to me, like, hey, if you think this is white out, or, I mean, white on white, it's not. It's white out. I was too lazy to search 
search through my drawers for white on white which i kind of think now that i'm doing this might be more opaque than this and it would have been worth it to search it out but hopefully this will be okay with two coats i mean it's only it's only the base color anyway it doesn't have to be flawless like if you just wear plain white nails as a manicure i feel like it's so important to make sure that the white is super opaque and even and like not streaky at all or more than with other colors it takes away from like the cleanness of the manicure i don't know if that sounds weird <clears throat> Um, it, it kind of does and it doesn't, it becomes kind of like, once it's fully dry, it becomes kind of a rubbery thing. Um, like usually if I have some that's still left on my nails after I, after I peel off my, my manicure, I will go to like scrape it off with an orange stick rather than try to do it with acetone. I think like if you're messy when you're painting and you get it on your skin and if you would want to try and clean that up. It would probably still clean up okay while it's wet but yeah it's kind of a weird weird thing and i had a bottle one time that i was going to use as just an empty bottle but it had the brush in it and the brush had dried in like a hard little just nub like a little brush nub and i was like oh i'll just i'll fill up the bottle with acetone to uh like dissolve all this on the brush make it usable again nope days the brush would not dissolve or you know whatever the 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 oont the ready for takeoff that was gluing the brush together would not dissolve the brush remained unusable yeah really streaky <clears throat> Hmm, dang it. Yeah, it really is. And in some cases, I've, I've like mostly given up or had already like decided not to try like, especially in cases where it's a nail stream and I've got like wet nails. Like I can't be trying to mute the microphone if I, if I sneeze or if I cough or something. Or especially when I've been sick lately, like the half the stream would be muted if I was trying to mute it every time I coughed but when I when I, I think I've said before in fact I'm certain I have when I very first started streaming I told myself I wasn't gonna eat on stream like snacking was not allowed there was you know I'm sitting here on stream all <laughs> and like that went out the window really pretty quickly I still try not to like I mean, I'm not going to sit down here and have a whole meal, but sometimes get a little, get a little hungry. <clears throat> Speaking of burps, or maybe not. Oop, there it is. Excuse me. That wasn't really very loud at all. Yeah. He's really comfy. He's finally settled down. Of course, I'm sure he will unsettle just about the time I'm getting into my deepest part of sleep. He's been such a little shit in the morning lately, you guys, I swear. All right. Let's see how the second coat goes. Oh, yeah. That's pretty opaque. Now, like I was saying, if I was going to wear this as a white manicure, I'd want a third coat for sure. For sure. Can you? It looks almost flawless on camera. In person, it's not. My tutorial camera is maybe picking up some of the other, like, little opacity issues. I think I am going to go ahead and buy a C922. I keep, like, looking at it and then, like, backing off. And then, like, looking at it and then backing off. But I should, I really should do it. Hmm. <clears throat> Philadelphia and LA, that's weird. 
I mean, it's like two completely opposite sides of the country. Yeah, amethyst. Yeah, I mean, like this, well, you guys can see on camera. Like, it looks opaque, but you can maybe see that it's like... Not quite. It's It's really pretty good, though. I mean, for two coats, and I could have been maybe a little more careful on the first coat, you know? You could probably get away with this as a two coat white if you wanted to. <clears throat> yeah, I needed quite a few snacks last night. I really, I, I should have called it when the game infinite loaded on me. I don't know what possessed me to try again. I mean, I got it, but I'm I'm positive that my sleepiness made that take longer than it by any right should have, but I got it. And and anybody that's confused what we're talking about, HK is Hollow Knight. My other my other streaming thing. It was it was fun though. It was super super frustrating. It was so frustrating toward the end, but it's so nice to now be able to say that I've done the path of pain. I had been putting that off and trying it. Oh, that's the kind of day it's gonna be. Poor right hand. I'm already screwing you over. We're not even barely started yet. I was just like, I do like this with my thumb and sometimes I relax my hand. I need to like keep my, keep my other nails curled up when I, when I do this, with, when I do my thumb like this. <clears throat> hey Luke. Luke hung in there the whole time. Luke clipped my moment of victory. I almost died there. I'm like having flashbacks as I sit here and think about it. It was so fun though. Um, I need to remember what I did with my little bottle my new little bottle of latex. Um, oh, that makes too much sense. It's sitting right there next to the big bottle or jug or whatever it is. I guess it's not a, a jug or what a tub. It's kind of like a tub. Um, tape also. Let's put that right there. <clears throat> now you feel like you should use them. Mm. <laughs> the stupid little butt butts butt cup. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, so this little anonymous bottle right here is my new latex from Amazon. Um, and I'm going to use this in combination with tape. So that my fingers don't stick together while I well no I'm gonna use I'm yeah I'm gonna use this and tape. Uh yeah, this should be fine. This is so like lumpy looking right now. <clears throat> Alright. Hello camera, come on. <clears throat> oh, when see he turned around again. He's so quiet. Quiet as a cat. I can't, I can't even speak. Quiet as a cat. <clears throat> Before I start marbling, I'm going to protect her on my nails using liquid latex as well as tape. Actually, I'm going to start with tape. I'll do it like that. 
and brown side like that. And then liquid latex like, oh my God, my hand is shaking so bad. Oh, well, at least we're not trying to do anything uh, super detailed water marble wise today. Or that could be a problem. Like when you're trying to draw a straight line and your hands are not steady, kind of sucks. And we were thinking about trying like inside the cuticle technique with this new latex, but then we did have a couple little scraggly bits last time so i think not for a water marble maybe eventually i'll test it <clears throat> with like a gradient or something and see if i can get like an appropriate thickness of latex to where it'll go on the inside of the cuticle and still peel nicely and this new latex that i got is like i, I switched because i just for as expensive as it is, Simply Peel works well, but it gets old and gunky and weird. Like, kind of quickly. And I don't know how long this is going to be before it gets gunky and weird, but it's cheap. And so I, I feel less wasteful about it. The whole, the four ounce tub was like $7, I think. I should add this to my nail polish essentials list. I wonder if I'll remember to do that after stream. Because I tried to... I didn't get the tape very close there. Oh, well, fix it with latex. Um, I try to keep that pretty up to date with stuff that's just like... You know, the most basic things like sesh feet and ready for takeoff and that sort of thing. <sighs> okay, I'm just not even going to do that because that's exactly what the problem was last time. I made a mistake. It was trying to get the thumb at a weird angle. And th when I got this latex, I wasn't sure how I'd be able to tell when it was dry. Because, like, with Simply Peel, it starts being, like, transparent. You can see here, this is the one I just did. Looks very wet, very white. See the one on my pinky, how it's getting slightly transparent and, like, pearly? So... I, I don't know the differences in the other ones. Uh, Music Gal uses green, and I think she says it gets a little bit lighter green. Um, and some of the other colors might react differently, too, but they are... You, you can definitely tell as, like, they start to dry. I, I love the little pearliness. I'm so glad I went with pearl instead of just, like, plain white. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem to be, like, I mean, I've had times where my Simply Peel was almost this thin. I don't know, and it's also, like, uh, in the description, it's latex paint. Like, I don't know. Like, what else is in this? Hmm. Yeah, I and I thought about, like, colors and stuff, but there were a couple concerns that I had. Uh, one was Music Gal mentioned she did have her green stain her nail a little bit one one time when it went like over the cuticles onto the nail. And I was like, other colors could possibly stain the skin. I mean, it's marketed as body paint, so hopefully not. Um, but I was also considering like, you know, doing nail art that's overlapping and how that's going to look. And uh, I just thought aesthetically, especially for tutorial purposes, that it and it looks so kind of nice, these white nails, but. <clears throat> I thought I wanted to stick I mean obviously purple you guys know I love purple but I wanted to stick with a more neutral color <clears throat> it's like as soon as my as soon as my cough drop was finished <clears throat> all right we have here the cup I actually haven't cleaned this all out at all yet I poured it just before just before I went live. Um, I probably want these tweezers too. Um, maybe clean it out with a little bit of the silver. You guys are probably going to need to go like that. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, what? Oh, that's still got. Yeah, I better clean that off. Still got bronze on this from the gradient. Just clean these off really quick. Okay. Okay, open these up carefully. I should have done this before I put on the tape. We, we got, we're getting into don't spill bottles of polish now territory, you guys, because you know I'm not the most graceful human on the planet. Um, Alright. Let's use a drop of silver here. And we're going to spread it out over the whole surface just to clean off any little impurities, anything that might have been stuck in the cup and then like floated up to the surface when you filled it with water, anything weird. And we should be good now, or at least better. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Gonna, we're just gonna have to all you all you guys are gonna be adjusted so that the tutorial camera can see what it needs to see I'm gonna have to adjust my own self too uh, about like that I'll zoom you guys out just to, there <clears throat> As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. This is not spreading well. I don't think I got it clean enough, you guys. Let's try that again. Stretch. Your first drop should go almost to the edges of the cup, all by itself. <clears throat> I, I would hope that a, a proper nail tech would not put a nail on a finger that was all fucked up. All right, that's probably a better cleanup. Let's try that again. <clears throat> As usual for water marbling, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with... <clears throat> like why, why am I having so much trouble getting a clean surface? Maybe I need to start with a different color. What color did I start with here? We'll start with silver. See if that helps. I honestly don't remember and I'm too lazy to go back and look at the VOD. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm saying, Evan, if somebody came in there like, oh, do my nails, this is fine. Would you be like, uh, no, bitch? Well, I mean, you'd be polite because it'd be a client, but you know. <clears throat> As usual, for water marbling, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. This is still spreading really goofy, you guys. That's better. Oh, 
Okay, now we need to remember not to over stir this. <clears throat> Once your bullseye is complete, you can go on ahead and draw on your design. For this one, I'm not going to be using any lines, just swirls. I don't, I don't like the way that turned out. I know it looks not horrible, but it's, it was stickier than it should be. It's only one degree colder in my room than it was the last time we did this. But the polishes are not acting the same. Oh, well, we, I might have to just suck it up and just... like go with it but I'm I'm not I'm not pleased with that one <clears throat> all right let's try this again <clears throat> As usual, for a water marble, we're working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. I mean, this is definitely getting a better spread. Hopefully we can work with this. Didn't nobody talk about talk about you, Beanie? You look like you look, you look like you heard your name, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> Once your bullseye is complete, you can go ahead and draw in your design. Y'all, am I being too picky that I hate this? Like, I want... I don't know what I want. I want this. And it was almost that, but it wasn't quite that. I'm being too picky. I know I am. I'm in that kind of a mood. Like, where it's just fucking not good enough. Even though, I mean, it's perfectly fine. Okay, we're the next one we're just going to use. The next one we're just going to use. I need to quit nitpicking. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> Oh, your hands are dirty. You don't need to wash them. Let me just file off the dirt. No. <laughs> like, fuck no. Like, your, your nails... See, the thing is, okay, I'm not a nail tech. I, I try to reiterate that like all the time, but I mean, all you have to do is like hit something under your nail too hard and you realize what a delicate part of your body, your nail bed is like, you can't just fuck around with that in nastiness and have it be okay. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I, I need to get out of this mindset where I'm like, It's not perfect, so I don't want it. Like, it's water marbling. It's, it's not going to be perfect. 
I just need it to be good, good enough. <clears throat> okay, this is this is the this is the one, you guys. This is the one. <clears throat> As usual for water marbling, we're working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. This is the best spread so far. I hope so, Amethyst. Once your bullseye is complete, you can go ahead and draw in your design. For this one, I'm not using any lines, just swirls directly on the bullseye. Look at that, you guys, and we got a sub. Jackie, we are uh, working with the China Glaze OMG flashbacks. <clears throat> Once you've drawn your design, take a look and decide where you want to dip your nails. For this cup, I'm going to be dipping my thumb and my pinky together. So I'm going to line them up in here, trying to avoid that kind of blurb right in the center. Then I'm going to go ahead and dip in. With my orange stick, clean up the excess polish so that doesn't stick on top of my design. And once it's as clean as I can get it, I'm going to go ahead and slowly pull out. And I hate it. How did I not get any of the fucking cool part? You guys, am I tripping? This is so boring. How did I miss the whole cool part? Oh my God, you guys. I'm having one of those, one of those fucking days, man. Like, there was so much good shit there. And and I got this. I mean, it's not uncool, but it's pretty boring Luke, compared to what... I mean, you could literally see, like, right off of the nail on the tape. Okay, no, I can't. I can't. boring as shit I mean they're still pretty I mean they're not ugly this just should have been like over I I just had extremely bad aim it's it's this half of the nail like this this should have just been shifted over like fucking half an inch and I'd be fine Maybe I like I still have some of that pent up rage from last night. I feel it. I'm just so irritated with this. Honestly. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Nope. Sorry, guys. Can't do it. I don't like it. 
And this is why this is why I ate before I started. Cause of course shit can't just fucking go right. No way I'm going for one at a time. I mean, maybe two and two in my thumb by itself. I thought I could get away with three at a time and my thumb and pinky together. But that is always an awkward dip. It was also a little bit awkward because there was that slight goober in there. I probably should have just cleaned that out instead of trying to dip around it. <sighs> I'm so irritated with myself, you guys. Ugh. All right. There, there were a lot of perfect spots in there. I don't know how I missed all the good spots. Okay. Everything is not a disaster. Everything is fine. It's not the end of the world. We were just talking about how Ready for Takeoff doesn't really come off well with acetone. There's a little bit left on this nail here. Do you see how it just kind of... Like, it will help detach it, but then you're left with this... That like that part's not gonna dissolve it just i mean it will help get it off your nail but it 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 doesn't it def not blah, definitely does not react to acetone in the same manner as a regular polish or a regular you know base coat okay You know, you know what my right hand nails are dry enough to do? Except that I, you know, I kind of want one and I kind of don't because I just finished eating. I'm actually not that hungry, but I still kind of want something sweet. Which I like, it's like, I don't know. I'm sure I probably have too many sweets. But I've got a tin of cookies right next to me. They're not exactly calling my name, but I would kind of like one. Yeah, alcohol would probably work too, and I think water would work because it is a water-based thingy product. I want to rush this drawing, but I'm trying to be just patient. Like, take a minute to, like, unrage myself. Oh, and do you guys see how stained the water already is? Like, it was clear. We had, what, two fails and, and one successful one, and it's already, like, turquoise water. chocolate makes everything better do i have any chocolate i mean i'm not actually a huge chocolate fan do i have any chocolate i have creme brulee white chocolate <clears throat> yes everybody please have a piece of chocolate on my behalf it'll make me feel better Am I rushing this? Yes. Do I care? Not right now. It's like when you go tilted in a video game and then you just are like rushing through and dying to stupid enemies that you shouldn't die to. Nail polish tilt. The finished design will be much better. It'll, it'll just be so much better it'll all be completely worth it. We'll do one more coat. Actually, I could probably put on tape and stuff while I wait for this to dry. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Chocolate doesn't ask what's wrong. Chocolate just asks, how can I help? Where? Over here. Maybe I just need to think positive. Maybe this is just because I figured something was going to go wrong. So now, of course, things are going to go wrong. Maybe if I had just assumed things would go right, they'd actually go right. Can I uh, use reverse psychology like that on Murphy's Law? Uh. 
<clears throat> I should rearrange these windows so that I can properly see. Oh. Yeah, I mm, I'm a I'm a bit irritated with myself over that one. It felt awkward as I was doing it. So I should have not done it. It's great life advice to kids. <laughs> what is Cole's law? Wait, is that the one? I'm not going to be able to think of the correct correct quote or the correct correct order to say it in i th I think i do know cole's law though if, if somebody were to post it i'd be like okay yeah i just can't like bring it to can't bring it to the surface of my brain okay let's get the polishes back over here so we'll just see i was very much more pleased with that pattern i just did not get it on my nail very well so, <sighs> now the cup's all dirty and not cute anymore. <laughs> My tutorial is ruined. No. Oh. <clears throat> all right you guys Th this is gonna be a good one because we're going into it with good feelings <laughs> i w like are there people like is that is that actually genuine for anybody i think it is i think there are people that like literally are that optimistic it's like sometimes i can be but like sometimes i'm just like <laughs> Hey, Squid, we are, okay, so we're trying to do this. I've been having some issues, and we're going to do that and put it on my nails. And we're recording a YouTube tutorial while we're at it, which just makes everything twice as fun. Please believe. <laughs> oh, all right, you guys. Take four, five, four, four. Maybe we should go with take three, even though I know it's not because... Third time's the charm. Okay, take three. <clears throat> As usual for water marbling, we're working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Give me a good spread, please, polishes. Just help me out here. Like the last one, it did really well by not pulling it, by just letting them, the later drops push the earlier drops. So I'm hoping that'll also work for this one. Because it's better if it's anchored to the sides of the cup. See, we've got it really slow. There we go. All right. Everybody cross your fingers and hold your breath. <clears throat> Once you have your bullseye complete, you can go ahead and draw in your design. For this one, I'm just doing some swirls directly on top of the bullseye. Once you're pleased with your design, you can go ahead and choose where you're going to dip your fingers. For this one, I'm going to line up my ring finger and my pinky in the areas that I want and then go ahead and dip in. Then go ahead and clear off the excess polish from the surface so that it doesn't stick to your design. And once it's as clean as possible, you can go ahead and pull out and there's the water marble. You may want to use a tweezer for the next part. I usually do. But you can go ahead and grab hold of the tape 
and remove your protection. The latex may or may not come off at the same time. If it doesn't come off, you can just grab it and take it off separately. Then I'm going to repeat that for all my nails before I move on to clean up. The ring finger is the shit and the pinky is a piece of shit. Y'all, I swear to God. What happened? How? How? <laughs> there is there is a fingers crossed emoji. It's in the it's in the Twitch emoji somewhere. <sighs> yeah, squid. Yeah. I'm so pleased with the Britney. Oh my God, the pinky. The pinky can kiss my ass. We're not, we're not doing it again. I mean, we're doing it again, but we're doing it for the other fingers. We're not doing a, the pinky again, even though I hate it. I hate it so much. I probably won't hate it tomorrow. I'm in a weird mood, you guys. I apologize. Like I'm in a better mood than before I started stream. <laughs> if you can believe that, but I'm still kind of like, Rawr. And if every, if every nail had turned out like the ring finger, I'd be fucking floating on cloud nine. We'll just see if every other nail turns out like the ring finger, then we'll have nine good nails and I'll still consider myself on cloud nine. And the little pinky is just what keeps me from being on cloud 10 because the pinky's an asshole. All right. So with this, I kind of mentally count to get a similar number of swirls. Count like one, two, three, then kind of move around for four, five, six ish. That's, you know what part of the problem is too? <laughs> it's my own fault. I'm looking in the cup, I'm seeing silver. We're applying on my nail, it's white. And, uh,. That's probably part of it, too. There's a bubble right here. You guys see it? All right. That's a really good shot for the tutorial camera. I hope you guys can also see. Once we finish this hand, I can maybe adjust the hand cam for a little bit more, more better angle. Oh, that's good. I like that. There's a bubble there. There. You guys see where you now can almost see the white at the cuticle? Did you see the bubble pop? That's the bomb though. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Now, we could have used a little bit more protection, like down toward the knuckle on this one, actually. I ended up dipping it, like, way too deep. But. Oh, that was not quite thin enough. There we go, though. Or not quite thick enough. Or maybe not quite dry enough. <laughs> All right. Two more nails for this hand. <clears throat> Luke, I just saw that it's okay. The nails are okay. <laughs> yes, everybody. My my secondary tier one emote is our buddy Pupper Clark. And Luke has dubbed the Clark emote the It's Okay emote. So if you're having like a bad time, just, just think about Clark's happy smile face. There's Sunbird with the fingers crossed emote too. <laughs> Amethyst spots the swirl on the pinky. One of the others an accent nail. I'm hoping the pinky's an accent nail. I, I I think, though, like, realizing that, that that's part of the problem, that I'm seeing silver in the cup and then white on the nail, is uh, helping me change my mental. <laughs> Do you think it's Monday, son? I mean, I, I could, LJ. I mean, I've done polished surgery before on water marbles. 
usually not necessarily creating the design, but like filling in if I were to like smudge a nail or something in ways that are not as noticeable. I'll take a look at it when I'm done. Enough, you know, ooh. Oh, think thoughts are thoughts are happening. I was gonna say another option would be to just like do fucking a whole nother water marble right on top of it. Um But maybe that's its own idea for a manicure. Since this since this silver is so fucking sheer. Cause like if you do a layered water marble, you gotta have colors that are not gonna be fully opaque, or obviously you're not gonna be able to see the bottom layer. And again, you guys, like one, two, three going in, and then you kinda like move around a little bit more. Yeah, we can do this. Well, oh, shit. Yeah, no, yes, yes. Hmm. Okay, okay, here it comes. Mm -hmm. The dip is as important, if not more important, than actually drawing the design. Like, getting your fingers where you want them in there. And as was pointed out, it is a lot easier to aim if you're only having to worry about one finger. Do you guys see these bubbles again? Can you see them right by my cuticle? Slow. Slow gives the bubbles time to pop. That's good. Ring finger's still the best. Pinky just sitting there like the less pretty stepchild. Got a nice peel there. <sighs> okay, these other these other nails are making me feel better than the pinky, you guys. I'm sorry for getting uh nail polish salty on y'all over the pinky but i mean look at it it doesn't go it obviously fucking doesn't go that one's really nice too that's close close second place that is close close second place i wish again i wish i'd been over just a bit so that this particular line right there was off the side of my nail and i got a little bit more of the stuff on this side like the continuation of this bottom wiggle instead of just I mean it's okay I all I always this this is why I'm so rarely 100% happy with manicures you guys I nitpick so bad I'm aware of it I mean I'm I'm completely aware um that I'm being absurd but <clears throat> missed two days and already caught up that's awesome son Yeah, it's like if if this was what I was going for, if I was going for just a little bit of, you know, the 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 blue. I keep wanting to say blue and purple. It's teal and blue. The blue just looks purple next to the teal. Like all by itself. But it doesn't go. And even when I'm doing like random patterns, I like them to be consistent. That could be, I'm probably going to leave it. Like, like a part, if I were going to do something, what I would probably do is bring in a little tier of blue right here and a little tier of, see, like you can even see. Do you see this little tiny piece of teal right there? If this had just been shifted over a little, this is, a, this is another placement issue. Well, okay, it's, by the end of Water Marble March, we're going to be pros at this again, and then I'm going to fall off again. But, like, that's... You can see that's where that was. And probably just, like, down here was the end of the purple thing. So this nail should have been slightly over and slightly down in placement, and it would have picked up, you know, like, these kind of... Those, those curvy tiers. 
In fact, maybe I will just add just like a small, that would really change the whole look of that nail. Some of these two, do you, do you see on the ring finger? Oops, I almost just jammed it with my, my orange stick because I'm trying to point by looking in the camera. Um, do you see right there how strong the silver is? That it actually looks silver instead of white? Like most, I, I mean, you see, we didn't use clear in the marble, but the white is coming through so drastically because the, the silver just gets very sparse in the water. But that one particular spot, like it actually is coming through silver. I wonder what these would have looked like if we'd used the silver, if we'd used the silver hollow as a base. Oh, well, um, okay. We're going to do right hand. Then we're going to do clean up. And, uh, then, oh, then all sins will be forgotten when we do top coat. Yeah, I think, well, I think, oh, what, what, what am I, what have I been doing here? <laughs> you just ever have one of those days. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, this isn't gonna... Fuck you! Nails! Okay. We're, we're just gonna have to touch up with white. I mean, that's all there is to it. Luckily, per our earlier conversations about how peel-off base coat doesn't come off with us, no, we don't have to redo our base coat. God, now I got cotton fuzz on this one. Okay, we're just going to leave it. Once we water marble and top coat, you won't even know. I mean, you guys will know because you're here. No, nobody on YouTube will know unless unless they watch the live stream archive. Then they'll also know. I guess my secret is not safe at all. <sighs> okay. You won't tell. My trustworthy Twitch chat. You know where all the bodies are hidden if bodies means nail polish mistakes. Hey, Bane. You comfy cozy, buddy? Yeah, you are. Make sure to get that tail nose warmer going. Mm, it's got a little... I'm, I'm not going to worry about that one. I feel like messing with it would be more more trouble than it's worth. Pinky swear. No, I don't want to swear with my pinky. I hate the pinky. <laughs> Can I put this here, Beanie? Do you mind? He's like, if you must, human. <laughs> yeah, the patented Beanie turn. I think... Is it exclamation point bean? We'll we'll pull up just a link to that gif, which is my my subscriber uh, alert from Doctor Crotron. I hope Doctor Crotron is doing well in his super long doctor days. He had, he said yesterday he had a sixteen hour day and today was going to be another one, and I was like, Bleh. like that would suck. I don't think he always hates his job, but I, I think he's kind of over the the traveling aspects of it as of late and the super long, super long days like this. Um, This piece of tape is like goofily long. I don't know why I, I don't know why I got such a long piece there, you guys. Uh, my hands are still shaky, but thankfully... That, that's not the problem with today's nail art, actually. 
The shake is not not fucking an issue. Just everything else that possibly can be. Okay. <laughs> hey kittens. All right, we're waiting for this to dry here. As we said, it gets kind of pearly when it dries, as you can kind of just barely see going on the pinky there. And I'll maybe add another coat while we wait to these couple that are under, under polish surgery. Oh, kittens, we are having such a hell of a time today. And anybody else is just coming in. We managed to finish my left hand, but you may see one of these things is not like the other. I don't have a very good singing voice, you guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> one of these things just doesn't belong. It's not really that bad. But I, I it's like an exaggeration to how my voice, <clears throat> I feel like a, like a preteen boy, like my voice keeps cracking. Unless I put on the YouTube voice, in which case I have somewhat control. Anyway, I was kind of getting really mad at my lack of water marbling skills, but we came out with some really good ones and one kind of wonky one. We've got the right hand to go still. There, the pinky's looking really pearly now. See how shiny it is compared to like this one that's still part wet? I think we can start. Actually, okay, so like with the tape, if you, if like I need to use my right hand still, so I'm going to like kind of package them like fold them up like little wrapping books wrapping books wrapping paper and then I'll still be able to you know pick up the nail polish and stuff the orange stick and those necessary water marbling items and I am out of acetone Yeah, three to four days a week in three state air. Yeah, Doc, I mean, Doc doesn't have to go in. Well, maybe he does sometimes have to go to other states. But, I mean, even just within California, that's a lot of driving. That's a big-ass state. Um, all right, so let's... Oh, that's on the inside of the cup. I'm like, I don't see that floating there. It's actually on the... But that's a pretty good... Or should I go all... No, that's too far for me. I was going to say, it's it's hard to get it right directly under the webcam, but I think that's an okay angle. That sucks, son. Is it... I wonder if, if it's your... Is it maybe your router can't keep up with the... Because I, I think sometimes that's my problem, is that, you know, we don't... We aren't getting quite the, the speeds that we're supposed to get. I mean, I have pretty good internet. I very rarely have any problems streaming. That was me knocking on wood when I couldn't quite reach it with my knuckles. Um, but I've got a couple things that I just recently realized. Th there's like different frequencies that your Wi-Fi can be on. And a couple of the things that I'm using are on an old frequency that I don't think the new thing supports. So I either need to look into alternatives for that, replacements, or like confirm whether or not they're going to be broken or not, or I don't know. Also has sketchy Wi-Fi that I think is due to the sketchy router. Yeah, I would just, I would complain, I would be that person like every time the shit went out, I was like, hey, this is broken again. Or even just was, was like, you know, not, uh the difference between and <sighs> words are so freaking hard you guys just like it's not stable it's an you, every time you have an unstable connection or something yeah or i don't know if it's your router i mean that's one thing i the, the one i have is part of the package which ironically i did so that i could upgrade it whenever i wanted to because you know you just they'll either they'll either send out you can either go to a service center they'll send a tech out or they'll just freaking like mail you one and you can mail your old one back <laughs> where are you routing your butts today all right you guys so we've got probably three more cups if these cooperate 
I'm kind of mad that it turned into three cups each hand because I mean not mad exactly but it's just really nice when I can do a marble that is only two cups per hand because it's just it's faster and easier except for when it abruptly doesn't do what it's supposed to do and then it's not faster or easier you're not fully spreading here but hopefully we can get some good designs should I should I spiral in the opposite direction from my right hand should have thought about this earlier yes so I was going so I should go um hmm. oh that's better sometimes just a little it's it's the little things Let's see how much of that I can get on this thumb here well could you guys see like in between my fingers there <laughs> dipping is the hardest part to catch on camera too I used to always a lot of you guys are probably remember my older water marbling videos see I forgot though all that silver is gonna be white I got a lot of cool swirls here just barely I I'm I wish I had been just a little bit up you see the finish of this this swirl that's going off my nail right here I wish I'd captured that. I'm not going to redip it. I'm I'm just I'm kind of surprised I'm this out of practice. It hasn't been that long since I've done a water marble, has it? I mean, I stayed away from them most of February, but didn't we have a couple in January? And I know I had at least one during Twelve Days of Christmas, right? Yeah, the chrome. No, what am I talking about? At least one. Every other day was a water marble in Twelve Days of Christmas. How have I already forgotten this? <laughs> that was like two months ago oh my god okay god look how different the thumbs are they're both pretty though they are <sighs> you guys so as far as next manicures like the plan is um what is today today's the 27th yeah tonight or like immediately tomorrow i need to get the bronze gradient edited and uploaded tomorrow before the end of february i don't want to try to save it until after water marble march because i i would probably forget about it after a whole month and then it would just be like lost in history and nobody would ever remember and that manicure deserves to be seen because it was fucking awesome so we'll get that uploaded and the uh the live stream of that archived this that we're working on right now is going to go up sunday saturday we'll be doing of course another water marble but i would really really like if it possibly works out to do a testing stream on Friday um, so that we're just ready to go on Saturday so that I can have a shortish stream so that I can do Hollow Knight Racing on Saturday night. This is very lopsided. That does not make me happy. But we, we can probably work with it. Okay, opposite way spiral. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. better better I think um gonna go and right 
here. I think, I think I picked the right spot. Did I actually dip in the spot that I tried to dip? That is the question. Mm, I, I feel like this whole hand is going to be lighter than the left hand overall, but I do like, I, I do like the parts that I captured there. I felt like that polish was a little bit dry while I was drawing in it. I was, I was very tempted to scrap that cup and do another one, but you know, I've, I've already redone so many. I, I don't want to redo anymore. Plus, you guys know once I get to the right hand sometimes. <laughs> Poor right hand. Yeah, I probably should get some more of OMG while the flashbacks are still available because it marbles really well. Um... What do you guys think for layering with it? Maybe with pink or with purple? Or maybe both. Have one layer pink and one layer purple? The thing that I always think about like with layered water marbles is I can't decide like what kind of pattern to do. Like do I want to do like flower patterns that are opposite leeways or like opposite way chevrons or like just like a randomer pattern? Randomer? That doesn't sound proper, but you know what I mean. That's a couple thick. Like this part here, can I? There. And that part there, and here's a bubble. Like this part right right here looks really thick. I mean, you can see how dark it looks, but I, I kind of still want that part. So I'm going to go for it and cross my fingers that I don't regret it. How am I going to... Mm, I don't like my angle options here. Like I want to... Well, what if I just do like... One, two. Whoa. That feels risky. Whenever I try to dip nails consecutively rather than concurrently, like one at a time into the same cup instead of at the same time into the same cup, it feels dangerous. Because when you dip through the pattern, it pulls the pattern, it rips the pattern, it changes the pattern, and there may or may not still be a good spot left for your second finger. Yeah, that, that center part looks like an eyeball. Look at that eyeball, you guys. Woo, that's weird. It's like a little weird eyeball in the middle. Wow. So this hand, actually, is much more consistent than the left hand. Do you know what I mean? Overall, this hand has more of the white slash silver showing through. But like the, th this is like what I'm saying, random but consistent. The the nails all have a very similar balance of color. Oops. Come on here. Mm -mm. All right. Uh. Whoa. Gosh, I will say from my limited experience with doing it this way that it feels like simply peel is more likely to peel in one piece when used in combination with tape. But this is the first time that I've used this new latex with tape. Maybe I just need to overlap it a little bit more. Like that one almost came up, you see? I mean, it's lifted. It just didn't quite finish. Plus, I, like, waited a minute after dipping. I mean, more, more than a minute on two of those fingers. 
And uh, similar to like when you're using vinyls and stuff, it does come off nicest when the polish is wettest. You should remove your protection right after dipping. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh, that was almost bad. Do we have this little tiny nail brush, I think? Um, yeah. We're going to touch it up just a little tiny, tiny bit. <clears throat> before I do the cleanup I want to do just a little bit of kind of polish surgery on the pinky I feel like it has so much more like silvery white than the other nails that I want to add just a little bit more color so I'm going to start off by getting just a little bit of the teal on my little brush here and I'm just working directly out of the bottle because I'm not going to be doing very much and I'm going to expand this little piece of turquoise that's peeking from the side up just a little bit so that it's a little bit more obvious like that and then I'm going to do the same thing to this one with the blue Like that. Oh. And a little bit of turquoise on top, I think, like this. Hmm. Like that. That looks a lot better. What do you guys think? Worth? <clears throat> yes. Amethyst. Yes, the inaugural 2019 Water Marble March. Actually, this needs just a teeny tiny... there and it doesn't like if you look closely I can tell but if you just were to like it fits in and then we're just gonna do cleanup hopefully I don't still have to explain cleanup q-tip for the large areas tiny brush for the in close areas and I had a lot of over dipping. I feel like that's one of the things. Well, we already discussed that I suck at lining my fingers up. Um, I feel like over dipping is the other thing that I get very sloppy with or lazy with or out of practice with. Um, when I haven't water marbled for a while, that it becomes um, like I, I skimp on the protection or I use a normal amount of protection, but I've got like a abnormal amount of over dipping. And over dipping, I just mean like dipping the finger deeper into the cup than I have protection to cover it. Um, and it's also over dipping is more common when dipping multiple nails for sure. So this is just our regular cleanup and especially like the polish surgery areas, make sure the the cuticle and all that has a nice clean line can help with the optical illusion that the the surgically added petals are not quite as smooth and even as the actual water marbled petals clean clean sides and cuticle line go so far in fooling the eye
I was thinking, we were talking the other day, or I was talking, rambling, about trying a different shape cleanup brush, about using something that's a little bit more rounded, and I realized I probably have, like, a nail art brush of that shape that I would probably never use for nail art that I should try, but then, like, I didn't remember to actually go find it. <laughs> so we're using still my regular, my regular flat cleanup brush. I'm still not in love with this as much as I would like to be, but I'm satisfied, if that makes sense. Like, we kind of had a made-it-work moment. Tim Gunn would be proud. Oh, man, this turquoise in the cuticles, though, like, blah. And I'm... I'm in, 80 to 90 percent sure I'll get staining with this too because need I remind you well I can't show you right now because we're recording but the water that we were marbling in started out clear what do we have three fails three fails and then three cups per hand so that's a total of nine cups and I will show you again in just a second how stained the water got in those five cups. This, you know, this thumb is so different from all the others. Every time I look at it, I like it a little bit more. I feel like the, the ring finger is more of a classic-y water marble design like it's got all those swooping petals and stuff and this is like a really interesting this water was clear so yeah that same polish that did that is on my nails now but maybe we'll look out maybe Oont will use its powers for good instead of evil and protect my nails from staining <clears throat> yeah and and sometimes like like i said i i have to be aware of my own moods i'm very aware i'm in a super super like nitpicky mood i'm I, like i'm not unhappy you know i mean i definitely have days where i'm where i'm unhappy or you know i'm feeling you know more depressed type of of symptoms if you want to call them that I'm not I'm just I'm not happy you know I'm just kind of meh and I'm trying to like I hate it when people are like well just be happy like I'm I'm not a believer in that like at all but I am a believer in like I, and I think we've talked about this before not dwelling in your unhappiness like, it would have been really easy for me to just be like, you know, fuck, fuck the plan stream for today. I don't feel like it because I didn't. But I'm glad that I did because I always enjoy it. And that's not like an, an exaggeration. I have not had any stream, even the most frustrating, piss you off streams, nail polish and games wise, at the end of the day are super fun streams. And so when I'm having a bad day, if I can just like get through it to the point where I can make it to the stream it's it's something that can lift my spirits even though I mean there are limits I'm not gonna be like I don't know what do they say people do when they're happy bounce off the rooftops or some shit I don't know and even just having my nails done will make me feel better even if it's not a manicure that I love as long as it's not a manicure that I hate, and I don't hate this. Those first two nails, that would have pissed me off for days to wear that, to be honest. Yeah, and I mean, like, I don't know. It, it's like a, a fine line to walk, especially, like, as a online person thing. Like, I don't want to, like, act like everything's happy all the time. 
then again, neither do I want to act like everything's sad all the time or like, you know, dwell on the sad stuff. I would much rather dwell on happy things than dwell on sad things. Not to say ignore the sad things, but I don't know. Happy and sad and emotions and all that shit are so fucking complicated. Like, literally, I was sitting here earlier today, and I'm like, why am I not in a better mood? And I was like, I don't know. I'm just not. It's like, well, okay, what can I do? Like, not like, okay, just get in a good mood, but what can I do to improve my mood? Don't just say, well, be happy. Like, well, what usually makes you happy? You know, smelling a flower? Go to a greenhouse. You know, petting a dog? Go to go to the Humane Society. If you don't have your own dog if you have your own dog just fucking go pet your dog i i dare you to be unhappy with the wagon dog all over you well i shouldn't say that some people probably cannot be cheered up even by a wagging dog but you know you know what i mean like lay, laying in bed is never gonna improve your mood probably And sometimes you're to the point where you don't you don't even have the energy to want to improve your mood. And that is where I feel that routine comes in handy. Because if there's something that you you have to do because it's, you know, it's scheduled to do it or it's that time to do it, and it's a it's a thing that makes you happy. You may cheer yourself up, you know, despite yourself. I think we have a little bit of residue. Uh latex right here caught up in the crustiest part of my cuticle or it's just a crusty part of my cuticle masquerading as dried latex or that <laughs> yeah like i don't feel like anybody here is happy all the time but guess what we're trying to be happy <laughs> that's gotta count for something doubtful hello how are you yeah we we had some ups and downs on this one but uh i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with how they turned out except for this one but it's better now because we fixed it actually you know it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb anymore that repair is better than i gave myself credit for you know by tomorrow i might even love these i don't love them right now but i might love them by tomorrow um yeah, I don't know. You guys know I get to rambling sometimes. How about I break your legs and then tell you to walk? Yeah. Yeah, that too. Morning? God, get get away from me. Like, seriously, I'm not a morning person. I feel physically ill in the morning, like, just regardless. Like... The earlier I get up, the more likely I am to feel like shit. And that's, like, I don't know. I, I don't understand why my body works like that, but, like, you know, that's part of what drove me to a little bit more of a later schedule. I feel better. Um, yeah, and seasonal depression, too, kittens. Um, yeah, and, and stresses, you know, there's, you know... There's there's always shit going on, of course. There's always stressors, and there's always... There's, I mean, there's always stuff going on, but... I don't know. I, I really, really... And I, I feel like I've been talking about this a lot lately, but it's just... It's been on my mind lately that, like... Streaming has been super therapeutic for me. Because I discovered... Like, when I started going out to California for the, uh, the Google events, I... It, it was a very hard thing for me to do because it was like I had never traveled before and it was like, you know, it was it was a weird thing. But I discovered that I like being sociable with people that I like. And some people are like, well, obviously, but it's like, no, you don't understand. Like, I don't like most people. <laughs> so like when I was out there and it was like all these people with like a similar interest and, in, you know, was cool cool people to hang out with and it's like man and then it's like in my day-to-day -day life it's like god all these people that just like you know don't don't share any interest with or like are literally assholes i mean it's not just like you have to be 
somebody that I like. You could be a perfectly nice person that I just don't have very much in common with. But Twitch has like enabled me to find all these other people that are awesome people that are like not my neighbors. You know what I mean? And that is that has been really awesome for me. Aside from the fact that something about this this online interactive part of it allows me to get over my my social anxiety and phobia of strangers. I don't know if I should call it a phobia. De- definitely a social anxiety component to it. I didn't know if I would be able to like stream like this because I mean I I could not do this in person. <clears throat> Fruit and oh yeah kittens. Now I want some of those. Like the taste like came to my mouth. At first I was like fruit and vanilla and then all of a sudden like I remembered and the taste was like in my mouth I'm almost ready for actually a sweet you guys like earlier when you were saying I should just have some chocolate and I actually wasn't interested (laughs) an hour later gee guess what cookies are starting to sound good yeah amethyst and I mean the thing is so here's the thing she is different that's fucking absolutely okay. I, I think that's part of it too. It's like people get this in their head. That like if you're different that that's wrong or that's bad and it's not. <laughs> like it's, I don't know. You you should be different and you, weird is just another way. Of, in fact, it's, I don't know if Squid is still here. I think Squid was talking about this the other day. Like weird is unique and who wouldn't want to be unique and yet nobody wants to be, well, maybe I shouldn't say nobody wants to be weird because I proudly attest to being weird, but you know what I mean? These words mean such similar things, but have such different perceptions between unique and weird. <clears throat> yeah, and I, I think that like those positive affirmations, it, different things work for different people too, of course. They can get your mind maybe going in the right direction or thinking in a slightly more positive track. Like, you know, I I tried a a little bit of that, like not exactly affirmations, but like when I wake up, I think about not what's I'm not looking forward to, but the good things that I have to look forward to that day or start out with, um, I don't know what to cause. Like I said, not, not an affirmation, but pop, maybe positivity, positivity, acknowledgement, that like even though like you know I'm still not feeling great and all my joints fucking hurt because it's winter and there's all this snow and ice outside that like there there are still positives like you know I get to stream later and you know I don't know what whatever that positive thing is for you to not crawl out of bed just already focusing on the negative there we are back to what you what you choose to focus on and what you choose to give your energy to but the thing with that is i didn't ever close these that assumes you have energy to give to anything in the first place and some days like you just you don't have any energy to to give to even yourself let alone anyone else let alone positive thoughts or affirmations you know and i think those are the those are the days when it gets a lot harder to get out of bed yeah well that's that's the thing too like these positive statements that don't resonate with you or that are just like cheesy like you have to find something that's dino hello what what, i feel like it's oprah thing stand in your truth stand in your positivity your positivity doesn't have to be anybody else's positivity you know like like some days maybe it is literally the other day when I had the bronze manicure on and I was like laying in bed and I was just like and then I was like oh I did something really cool last night and I like pulled my arms out from under the covers and I was like look at that like that was my step toward positivity that morning so doubtful (laughs) with the gifts of to dino thank you so much doubtful for your 22nd gift sub. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Dino, enjoy your uh, animal emotes. Mm. 
and doubtful for your own resub. Thank you. What do you do? <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes it is hard to know when you get gifted. I always just, uh, you know, make, make sure to thank the gifter, of course. And uh, the, I'm trying to think if it's different on mobile. Like the little box that you're typing in the little smiley face there, you now have access to my channel's emotes. My, my subscriber emotes. You have access to Colette Bean and Colette Clark. And next month, oh my God, it's almost next month. You guys, we have to, we have to figure out two more emotes because uh, the, the new affiliate additional emotes are rolling out gradually. March, which is like a couple days away, is right around the corner. Um, and then April, I'll get another slot too. So I need to figure out two more two more emotes I mean I thought about just like lazying out and doing a Clark thug and a gold Clark and then I was like okay that would just be like okay you literally don't have any ideas Colette and I have all kinds of ideas but I feel like I should ask you guys to what you want like I, I just don't know and I don't know if I should like draw some or have like commission some or if I should do some more pictures or if I should do some more animals like should I should I do a frisky emote and a dude emote I just don't know or should I draw some beanie cartoon emotes or yeah <laughs> happy and a butt <laughs> yeah or a fancy nail yeah get more animals to have more options <laughs> now now we've introduced dino to the emotes she's gonna be digging through there finding all the emotes yeah there's well let me see i have a window up right here there's like different tabs there's for the channel which will show like my emotes at the top and then my ffz emotes at like underneath that if you have ffz installed if you don't you should if you're on pc because it's fun and then like the next little tab is like my emotes like I see all the channels that I'm subscribed there which it's like not that many I have like three subs that I maintain and a couple gift subs and then the emoji has stuff like whatever you want are the regular twitch emoticons in here too or are they under my emotes I bet they're under my emotes I don't actually look in in the in the menu very often because um I, and I forget if this is a BTTV or FFZ extension. If you do, is it a colon or a semicolon, guys, when it's two dots? Colon. You do colon and you start typing a word and it'll bring up a little menu of the different emotes that match. So almost always that's what I'll do. Or if you just actually remember the code, you can, of course, just type it. And I think we're almost done with cleanup here. Which will bring an end to our, our the rambling section of this evening stream. <laughs> yeah, a polish bottle. <laughs> yeah, I think too. I don't know. Is I think it's easier for mods to do pyramids because they don't have any restrictions on their timing. I don't think I have many restrictions on spam because I've luckily not had anybody come in here and like abuse it and like spam the hell out of everything all right that looks pretty clean yeah they're so different they actually almost look like they could go together like they could just join together right there the design that's weird it's cool but weird other than that, like this one with the eyeball. <laughs> yes, doubtful. Um, like this is the cup. You can actually see we stained the water quite a bit with this teal. But this is the start of Water Marble March. All of my nail art for this entire month is going to be water marbles. So... There's going to be lots more of this. I've got a bubble here. Press that flat before we do top coat. Can you guys see it right there? Pretty pretty hard to show the bubbles a lot of the time on camera. 
Just push them flat, get all the air out of them, or they'll pop when you top coat them. But yeah, you float the polish on top of the water, and then you draw a design on it. I mean, at the most basic... That's the most basic description, and it's like, oh, well, that sounds easy. And, uh... There are challenges. <laughs> even I had some challenges, even though we tested this the other night to determine that they work. Yeah, Dino, uh, China Glaze OMGs. So we've got uh, OMG, Deviate, and Tonight. And the camera is, of course, not doing their hollow justice. I think, does this still have... This had a little spill on it at one point that showed the hollow off better on camera, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, Dino. Yes. Yes, Doubtful, exactly. Somebody suggested something. Well, let's see. We can try We can try this. Hold on. You get a little bit. I mean, the polishes definitely you can. And the and the caps, like if I get my How about if we do like this? Maybe. Hmm. Nah. I mean, like this this used to be like the lighting for my tutorials, you guys. It's so funny to me, but yeah. There's that rainbow. So yeah, everything that looks white on my nails, I used white as a base color and then I used this in the marble. It just isn't coming through as strongly as these. And, and whenever I turn the light like this too, it makes it a lot harder for me to see my, my preview. But they definitely have quite a bit of sparkle to them. Yeah, so... I, I definitely, and you guys, oh my God, I, I <laughs> remember when I tried to start posting on Instagram again, I failed. I haven't failed. I've fallen behind, but I will try to get some pictures of these like in the sun or in direct light because that's all going on here. This light just is not, it's, it's too much. I think it's too, too coming from too many angles for the hollow, just like it just washes it all out. <laughs> you dino they're really great you i'm trying to remember i i'm sorry you guys that i'm so bad at remembering but i don't remember if you were watching yet dino when i did the comparison between these omg flashbacks and the original omgs the flashbacks collection has six compared to the original collections 12 but they're very very good and very very similar i did a plain skittles manny I did a water marble and I did, did we do the stamped? Yeah. And we did a stamped manicure and stamping is the only area where the new ones fall short versus the originals. <clears throat> All right. So let's, uh, let's do the top coat. Top coat might bring out a little bit more of the hollow, even under this lighting. That'd be nice. Mm, so much dirty napkin. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I don't think the mic picked that up, but it was like a... Okay, that wasn't what it sounded like. It was like a snore, but it was also like a purr, and it was also like a trill. It was the cutest little sound. <laughs> Dino is just loving all the emotes. <laughs> A toddler after six espressos. The, the cleanup brush is still my secret weapon for that, doubtful. These were, I mean, and of course, something like this where I'm dipping in. I mean, we've also got... I mean, some of the stuff that got on the protection was very pretty, but this this is a very quite quite a very messy technique. I 
I want to reach and get in that tummy so much. And you can even see the white spot, you guys. Enjoy a glimpse of Brainy's uh, private area. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, you guys. It's the best time. Top coat time. <clears throat> Once you've finished your cleanup, go ahead and finish with a top coat. As usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. All right, here. That repair or touch up, I guess, looks much better with top coat, too. Just smooths it all out. I hear you over there, Bane. Snoring away. No, I'm just trying to be like I'm trying to be neat, but not too neat. Cause like we talked about, I do like the top coat to really seal in the peel off from all sides, like cuticle, side walls, and free edge. And then if needed, I can clean up a little bit of the top coat to make it not quite so glom. Mm. I love top coat, you guys. No, nothing is quite as satisfying as top coating a gradient, but it's always pretty satisfying. I wish I could, like, I should go back and look and pay attention. Like, I would love to do a whole manicure that looks like this thumb. Like, if I could find a way to get that consistently. Because it's like a... It's like a wave. I don't know. We'll uh, get a short, brief cleanup around the cuticle edge here. Like, I like to flood it, and almost flood it, and then, like, clean it up. And the, uh, there we go again. Who's it this time? It's Doubtful again. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to, uh, to LJ. Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. You're so generous, Doubtful. I, 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 I'm at a loss for words, but please know I super, super appreciate it. I, uh, oh, this, this, this streaming thing has been like the weirdest, unexpected, good journey. And it all, I mean, it all, it all could not have happened. I mean, this was like a random Stumbling across Twitch was like a completely random event for me. And really like streaming, I thought about it and then very promptly dismissed it. You hunt the unsubbed. <laughs> oh. Wait, who are we naming Marble? Oh my goodness, was it nine months? Why didn't it tell me that it was nine months? It t we got a Twitch baby, Jackie. It's like my second Twitch baby only ever. I swear. Well, you know, okay, I'm not going to get mad at Twitch because Twitch is trying its hardest. I mean, hopefully they are. Ever since they made it so that you get credit for your previous subs, some things have been a little bit wonky. And I think part of that is the way that it maybe announces Prime subs. Because I think... I don't think any of my prime subs lately have said how many months they're for. Yes, we can definitely name our Twitch baby Marble. <laughs> and hello to Barney. <laughs> Barney made a little face. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. Okay, Sesh Vite, y'all. That, I don't know if you heard what well, you saw me knock this. That was knocked by a nail that is not dented because Sesh Vite 
is OP. Sesh feet for the win. Injured sandwich. <laughs> what a name. Hello. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, you bite like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm like slightly gradually losing my shit, but I'm smiling so much more than when the stream started. Um let's uh let's top coat the right hand before I like forget that I didn't do it yet. Make sure to get all this top coaty goodness all over and smooth out. God, which nail was that that I ended up with the Q-tip fuzz on? I think it was this ring finger. It looks okay now. From the from the polish surgery that we had to do. All right, there we go. Oh, the eyeball nail is next. <laughs> she left the room to chase his sister or brother. Beanie and Clark were so funny today because. Like, well, I, I posted that, uh, that picture in Discord of Beanie with his grass, and Clark also loves the grass. Well, it just, it gets past it kind of quick, and I tried to, like, trim it down and see if it would grow back nicely, but it didn't, so I just repotted it for them, and they were both just, like, waiting, and I'm trying to explain to them, like, guys, I'm, there's, there's not instantly gonna be grass once I finish this. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait a couple days it does grow surprisingly fast and if you have indoor cats i think i've recommended before like grow them a little pot of grass they'll love it and dogs love it too it's good for them watch ncis or game watch a game or play a game if you mean play a game, and if by game you mean Hollow Knight, well then I think you know what I would tell you to do, Amethyst. What time is it? 8.43. Yeah, I love the eyeball nail too. That one turned out really good. I, I wanted to get it at a little bit more of an angle on my nail, but it looks cool like that. I think that one, this ring finger with like those really pretty petals... And this thumb are my favorites. But it all came out pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, he he usually stays away from the house plants, Beanie does, but they're not like a place where he normally hangs out. He if if they were easy, more easy to reach, he might mess with them more often. On the driving finger. <laughs> hey, Basenji. Mm. You are just in time to see the finished manicure. Why, why are we... We are slightly crooked here, aren't we? Sorry, y'all. That's still crooked. Sometimes I can tell, like, there's the little... Uh, the seam on the edge of the miracle mat. If that's not straight on the camera I know I'm like a little bit crooked you love all rainbows equally yeah you know I mean I wish I knew exactly how I'd done that It'd be like the basis of a peacock water marble certain things like that it's just like even if I were to watch the video back and like concentrate and like exactly figure it out I probably couldn't duplicate that like on demand i i think it's the combination of a blob and a seam <laughs> doubtful <laughs> on your unsubbed hunting <laughs> thank you so much for gifting a sub to basenji lover peacock water marble is next i don't know dino uh it's it's been on uh it's i mean it's been on my mind for a while but it, it just would be so challenging i think i i won't rule it out entirely like if i found a way to do a pattern that really was screaming peacock at me then i'd be on the hunt for colors that were also screaming peacock at me <laughs> you are the terror that flaps at the night darkwing doubtful <laughs> 
Hmm. Yeah, so I, I think I already said earlier, but for anybody that wasn't here, um, I'm going to try and get a testing stream Friday. Um, <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if I, if I can like get myself organized, like a short testing stream before going to grandma's house would be a great idea, I think. Um, and then we would be ready to go for Saturday stream. We're, we're, it's all water marbles all month. We, we do actually have two other starting points. Shit. I dropped one of the strips. But I think we kind of decided that this was too subtle. Like this is, this is these. And I thought that, I mean, they're like, they're very similar color, except one is cream and one is hollow. But the, the water marbles just didn't work out. The other option is to either do a straight up water marble or experiment with more clears for a gradient water marble with these colors, which are, um, these, these, yeah. So there's that. So we, we have those two starting points. But I'm, like I said, the one I'm almost positive I don't want to pursue in this one, I'm, I'm not sure either. The clears really were not playing nicely. Maybe I need to dig out a mat and also test that as the clear. Um, of course, then again, even if we did get that working with a clear, the idea was to do a gradient and then a clear in color water marble and then like the, the colors of the gradient are peeking out at different parts of the water marble through the clear which you can kind of see on this test, like I did uh, green, turquoise, navy, and then the clear and color water marble on top. It, it's a little bit confusing, and I, and I don't really know how it would work out. Or we have the, the idea from today of doing a multi-layer marble with the silver and some other color. Or we have, I mean, like... We, we have the entirety of my collection to, to find things to do this month. I want to be sure to use a lot of different brands. I want to be sure to do a lot of different designs. Um, like revisiting this sort of more simple swirl with some different polishes is for sure on my list. Because if I could get one that was like pulling more of the colors from the exterior rings into the center spiral... That would be a really cute, simple look like on all my nails. Um, yeah, <laughs> this witchcraft is called water marbling uh, sandwich. Yeah, I, I, I at one point almost had my hands on clear water uh, from Pipe Dream Polish. And then uh, I, I almost had a night in Vegas, too. And then I, I wasn't quite quick enough. I was at work, like at 10 o'clock a.m., trying to and get in on the relaunch, and it wasn't... Oh, no, Ash. I mean, thank you, Ash. But uh, we're, we're just wrapping up. Um, I, I'll be sure to find a good home for, for you raiders. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, the end of my nail art stream. We just finished this water marble here, and we were discussing... Uh, what's going to be coming next? Um, <laughs> wait a minute, NASA, I don't know how it relates to space travel, but get on her leg. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, rainbow clover, maybe. We do, we have had a request for rainbow water marble this month. What else did we have on, on our notes? Let's check the notes. How was your stream, Ash, by the way? I don't know if I have any... Any mods here? Let me give Ash a shout out. Um, Ash is a wonderful streamer. Plays Hollow Knight sometimes. Oh, they were playing Hollow Knight. Oh, you're currently playing Hollow Knight. Ash, turn off your stream. <laughs> um, the rando was kind. I still have this week's rando to do. Should I do that? It's only nine. Or should I do that tomorrow? 
Should I stream it or should I do it all offline? I don't know who all has done it yet. I feel confused. Water marbling level 100. Mm. Injured sandwich. Thank you for the follow. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Luke, Luke comes out of the deep lurk. Do it. Back into the lurk. <laughs> oh. So you guys, you guys think it would be a good idea for me to just move directly into like some Hollow Knight? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, I did just get a raid. It would be kind of a shame to, to cut stream. I mean, we finished the manicure, but... I mean, I, I could play just a little... <laughs> mm. We all do love a good rando. This is true. Nice background. I mean, I did. I haven't seen anybody be like, "No, Colette, cut stream right now. Go do some other shit." So maybe I should. <laughs> hey, cow. Yeah, we were just we were talking water marbles and talking Hollow Knight and and things. Hollow Knight and things. Well, let's see here. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we have to do here to make Hollow Knight happen? Well, first thing we have to do is get this out of the way. Um. Oh, thank you, Ash, Luke. <laughs> it is a you know you were right, Luke. Everything was okay. I I love how these look like they could just connect to each other. That's I don't know. That's so freaking cool to me right now for some reason. Okay, let's put this. Is there a room up here where you won't get spilled? I mean, really, I should take it downstairs and dump it out, but guess guess who's not doing that right now? <laughs> mm. All right, Doubtful, thank you so much for stopping by and for the gift subs, as always. I'm glad, I'm glad, it seems like most of the streams you've dropped in have been Hollow Knight, but I'm glad you could stop in to enjoy a little bit of nail art, too. All right, Sunburnt. Weird work tomorrow. Squish some bugs. Thank you so much, Doubtful. Yeah, I think you're right, Luke. I'll get I'll get things set up. And then I'll take a quick break. So let's see. We'll get the tape over here. Um I need I think I need to well that'll only take a second. Okay. It feels weird not to you know what you guys? Okay. I don't usually do this on camera. I need to I want to record my intro and my outro before I before I move my Can you hear him? Poof poof. Um, I'm going to record my intro and my outro before I take my uh my ring light down. <clears throat> Yes, Dino. <laughs> we know who to blame, son. Blame the kitties. Yes, go, 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 you know, and go, oh, are you going to make it, dear? And try not to giggle at them. <laughs> yeah, rando is so hard to predict unless you know what's going on. Okay, I don't usually do these on on stream because I feel very awkward when I'm doing them. More awkward than just recording the tutorial. Plus, I didn't wash my hands yet. Okay, we need to wash my hands before I do this. Because they've got acetone crap on them. And actually, this one, I didn't finish cleaning up. Okay, we're almost done with nails and then we're going to move into Hollow Knight. Yes. Okay, okay. Clean up first. Not on the clean napkin, on the dirty napkin. I'm just, my mind is racing here. I was thinking I was done, I was about to be done streaming, and now I'm like not at all done streaming. Um, yeah, so like the intro, when, when I get done streaming, my usual routine is to like clean up my desk at least like minimally. 
and then take a little short break like bathroom and stuff uh obviously wash my hands that for some reason okay tangent like why well no actually i just answered my own question i was like why does chad act like a bunch of 12 year old boys when streamers go to the bathroom did you wash your hands <laughs> like okay what the fuck but then like i realized that some of them are like fucking 12 year old boys that think that that's like super hilarious anyway wash my hands to get rid of the acetone junk and uh then come back up record the intro and the outro take the hand shots and then put up my ring light and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll do... Okay, one thing we need to do is go... No, yes, no, yes. I can't decide what order to do things, you guys. Oh my God, my plans are changing and that's fine. This isn't closed. That's the type of shit I find like two days later sitting on my desk and I notice that the top has like a little gap and hasn't been screwed back on. Okay, everything's closed. Okay, I have a couple more things I want to do before I go downstairs and take a potty break. So, one of those things... Yeah, no, this that was the one I was just using. It should be fine. But, uh, God, what was it I left open the other day? Oh, it was my, one of my bottles of holographic pearls, which is this, which is hollow, not just silver, if you're curious. Okay, so in here, in, no, in here, in here, in here. Where are here in the resources? Okay, the load normalizer. Yeah, it's not gonna harm my computer. <laughs> like so many of these Hollow Knight mods, it's like this is going to harm your computer. It's from an unknown publisher. It's like, okay, look, it's not gonna hurt me. Okay, so for our race, there's this uh thing called a load normalizer that lets everybody's uh let's everybody's stuff take the same time okay so we'll put this in here uh and then dr croton's instructions say just put this into the mods folder okay so We'll go in here and here, managed mods, and paste the load normalizer. And I can't see chat right now, so if you're chatting at me, I can't see it. I just want to do, I want to do this first before I go downstairs. I don't know why. Um, well, it's it should be pinned. And I think, did we ever standardize what else is supposed to be turned on or not turned on during uh, weekly seeds? I've got, what do I have turned on right now? Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, we'll turn you on. We've got the oh and now it's actually it wasn't there before but now that i stuck it in there it does that's interesting any any of my racers that are here like the load normalizer was not available in the mod installer to just turn on but now that i stuck it into the game it shows up as able to enable or disable that's kind of that's kind of the mod installer is really kind of a cool little piece of stuff that the community has put together um Okay, so we'll leave that like that. Um, where'd my chat go? What have you guys been talking about? <laughs> Be nice to it. 
Yeah, I hope so too, Sandwich, if you're still here. I know I was just like away from the screen, but there's going to be a lot of nail streams this month because it's Water Marble March. On a regular basis, Saturday is usually the nail art day and Wednesday is usually the nail art day. And then maybe other days. Yeah, it's in the it's in the resources channel, Ash. I'm assuming other people used it this week. I know Doc had it on, and I know Luke had it on, and I know they both got really damn sick of it pretty damn quick in not weekly seed mode. Okay. Um let's get my hoodie because it's chilly downstairs. Well, chillier than it is up here. And uh, I think that I can um, refill my water while I'm down there. Tea, I think tea would take too long because I'd have to actually boil water. Well, I guess I could boil water. Boiling water doesn't take that long. You guys, you guys are so patient and nice. I'm so glad that you guys are willing to hang around. Um, maybe, maybe I can squeeze that in while I'm down there. Um, let's, uh, where's steam? Open up steam. It is currently 9.01. I'm going to give myself, I'm actually going to give myself 15 minutes, although it might not take quite that long. And instead of unwritten return, you guys, you guys are going to get Hollow Knight music to listen to. Um, there's like nothing. I need something. This, this is kind of a lie because we already did this. I just don't like the completely empty, completely empty, empty screen. Okay. Tea, water, intro, outro, hand shots, hollow night. If you're down, hang out. If you've had enough, thank you for hanging out. And uh, if you need your own snacks, drinks, potty breaks, pet breaks, now is the time. Pee, tea, and water. Yeah. Which will make me have to pee all over again. But that's a whole different story. But thank you guys for your patience. And I will try not to keep you waiting too long.
Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. I have returned. Um, whew. Anybody is showing up while I was gone as opposed to leaving while I was gone. <laughs> we are going to finish up the intro and the outro for the Manny using these colors. This Manny right here. And then we're going to play some Hollow Knight. So let me actually... No, that keeps you... Yeah, like, let's do that. And let's do this. Mute it for you guys and mute it for me. So that I can do the intro. Thank you, son. And I think I got all the little bits of top coat. Sometimes I'll think I did a really good job of washing off like any extra little bits of top coat. And then I'll turn on this camera and I'll be like, hey, wait a minute, how, how, where is that? So I really like to double check before I start. And not like it's like the hugest end of the world deal because anyone that does their nails, I think, if you're not like a professional I don't know, maybe that's my own misconception. I feel like there are more people that are probably messy like me than there are, like, perfectionist painter people. But maybe there's more good painters out there than I realize. Um, yeah, just this little part right here. Just little bits that didn't get washed up or uh, cleaned off in the first place. <clears throat> Which is, of course... The other reason that this isn't usually in the regular tutorial, I can still like making you guys wait for me to go to the bathroom and stuff. <clears throat> so hopefully I'll get this within a couple takes. I mean, you guys have seen me have to do multiple takes. I mean, just today for the water marble, but <clears throat> this is often the same thing. <clears throat> Hi guys. <clears throat> um. Mm. I did make myself some tea and once I've moved the ring light back out of the way I have to remember to like open it so that it doesn't just stay scalding hot um mm. there. okay <clears throat> hi guys it's Colette and today, to kick off Water Marble March 2019, we're going to be working on this holographic water marble using the China Glaze OMG Flashback Collection. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. <clears throat> that was actually not horrible. I don't know why it makes me so awkward to record the <laughs> intro and outros. <laughs> Artie, Artie, please. <laughs> like it's when, when I'm just doing the tutorial, I mean, I'm just, it's kind it's kind of like streaming with a few more filters, but I'm just talking about what I'm doing. Like the intro and outro are so much more contrived. I don't know. I feel <laughs> it's weird doing them on stream. <clears throat> So here's the finished manicure and I'm fairly pleased with it, although I did have some incidents my first few cups that did not make it into the tutorial. Of course, if you want to see the testing process, you can check out my live streams over on Twitch and I will be live streaming all the testing for all of Water Marble March. Okay, that's way too much information. I struggle in my outros to... Like, like they say, and, and I, like, I try not to keep best practices too heavily in mind, but it's hard not to keep them completely out of mind. Like they say, don't make your outro too long, but at the same time, I want to like make sure to stick important information in there. Like there's still, there's still a ton of people who like appear to not know that I live stream, which granted, I don't mention it every single tutorial, but hello, Every live stream is archived to YouTube. So how are you? Yeah, I for real, Luke. 
I'm absolutely guilty of it when streaming. And I can be very guilty of it when doing my outros, but I try not to be like, I'll just try to do my main points. Like, not overly talk it up. And honestly, see now, like, doing this on camera and having, like, this conversation, maybe that's not the right word, but, like, it makes me realize that's the type of stuff I used to put in my blog. The urge to have a long outro is because I don't have that blogging outlet anymore to be like, oh, hey, wait, this also happened during the tutorial and I forgot to mention, but I wanted to talk to you about it. See, I need to get back to blogging. I need to, I just need to manage my time better overall. I, uh, I should have time for everything I want to do. I just, well, we'll see. It's going to be Water Marble March, so it's going to be a productive month. We'll just see if we can continue to carry that forward the way we kind of managed to carry forward the productivity from uh, 12 Days of Christmas. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> so here's the finished manicure, and I really like how it turned out, although I did have a few struggles with it. If you want to learn more about water marbling or see the testing process as it happens, drop in on a live stream over on my Twitch channel. Um, shit. I was gonna say, you could check out my schedule in Discord, but people on YouTube fucking don't know what Discord is. My schedule is on my Twitch page too, but it's not like my full schedule. I need to just keep it a short mention. <clears throat> Links are in the description. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> so here's the finished manicure, and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, although I did have a few issues with it. Like with all water marbling, you have to do some testing beforehand, and if you'd like to see some of my water marble testing live, come join a live... <sighs> okay. Another pet peeve of myself, and I and this is really kind of hilarious when I'm sitting here doing this exact same thing by myself, is saying a word and then like two words later saying the same word. So like, see me live, check out my live stream. Sounds off to me, but then like, I don't know how else to say it. So then I have to like stop and think about how else I want to say it. Like maybe I should write myself a script, but it's like I just... I fail until I get one that ends up being okay. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so here's the finished manicure and I really like how it turned out, although there were a few struggles with this one. If you want to see the testing process, the extended tutorial will be up in a few days. And if you'd like to see it live, come join me over on Twitch. How not to sound cheesy, y'all. I don't make reference to my to my Twitch channel often enough for it to like roll off the tongue. Like a lot of my catchphrases are somewhat intentional just so that I don't have to think about what to say. Like it's, it's nearly by rote because I say the same thing every time. Like now we're gonna finish with top coat. And as usual, <laughs> I just need to, I, I don't wanna script it too much though because I hate, well I don't like hate with all my might, but like if I'm watching a video and it sounds like somebody's just sitting there reading off of a piece of paper, it feels, Not tacky, but scripted. I mean, it is scripted. I, I, I've got a plan, but I, I like for my stuff to sound a little bit more or less scripted, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> so here's the finished manicure, and I really like how this turned out. Although I did have a few issues with it that didn't quite make it to the tutorial. If you'd like to see testing live, come join me over on Twitch. There's a link to my channel down in the description. And I'll be live streaming water marble testing all March long. That... 
That makes it sound like I'm not going to be streaming nail art after March. <laughs> when of course I will be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm overthinking it now. <clears throat> so here's the finished manicure. And I really like how it turned out. Although I did have a few struggles with it that didn't quite make it to the tutorial. If you have questions about water marbling or would like to see testing live, feel free to join me over on my Twitch channel. There's a link down in the description box and all the testing, all the extended tutorials and, and too much talking can be found on my Twitch channel. All the awkward bits that get cut from YouTube can be found on my Twitch channel. <clears throat> so here's the finished manicure and I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. There were a few issues that didn't quite make the finished tutorial, but you can check those out in the extended tutorial, which will be up in a few days. And if you'd like to join me live for my water marble testing, there's a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one. I hope you're looking forward to water marble March as much as I am. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. That one was good. Good enough. Let me get a couple pictures and then we'll switch over to Hollow Knight. <clears throat> Thank you, Artie. Like eventually, like it just comes out sounding not ridiculous. Ooh, that might be. Is it too green? We'll do a couple with that. Where? I thought you were in this drawer. Maybe you were over here. Um, there we are. Hmm? Yeah. All right, we'll do some with each of these. Hey, Amethyst. <laughs> are you applauding my, my actual decent, my one decent take? actually gonna lose the ring light the ring I don't like the way the still pictures look with the ring light as much as I like the way they just look with a flash like regular and you're probably gonna get some glare here this this is this is another reason I don't do the hand shots on camera other than it's just weird um yeah it's actually kind of see I don't use the ring light but to get the camera to focus well, it needs some lighting other than the flash. And then we just take a whole bunch of hand shots to shuffle through later. That's perfectly fine. There were two that you thought were good. See, that's the other thing too. I know I mean, especially after the manicure, I know I'm in super critical mode today. So oftentimes when I go back and listen to them back later, they're not, they're, they're all perfectly fine. Like there's lots of usable ones. It's not like there's just one good one, except for I have a habit of just when I feel like I'm doing poorly, just stopping and then I don't have a whole... I don't have a whole outro there. Like I just have like half of one and then a fucking A. Some shit. And I still, it, this is one of the things I feel like I could change to save a little bit of time. I almost always choose a picture with my right hand on the bottom, but I still always take pictures both, both ways, like some with the right on the bottom and some with the left on the bottom. Actually, that's fine. And it's like, I could, I could save some time by just skipping this. 
But then it's like, but what if this is the time when it would be better the other way? And it's just like, I don't know. Am I overly detailed or am I just like tripping completely? And this black one is so hard to keep clean of bean fur, but thank goodness for spot healing brush and Photoshop <laughs> for cleaning out all the beanie fur. Okay. I'm gonna take just a couple more, you guys. You guys are so nice and patient. All the behind the scenes stuff. I suppose maybe it's interesting this time because you guys don't usually get to see it, but you can see how this would get pretty old and boring to have in most videos. Let's just turn that off for a minute. Oops, no, not self-timer anymore. I didn't mean it. Cancel. There we go. Just regular. Just regular now, please, camera. I hope there's... I hope there's some sun tomorrow. Because... These deserve sunshine. <sighs> nail artist other greatest struggle posing with your right hand why is it easier to do everything else in the world with your right hand except for pose it come on right hand oh <laughs> I always feel like it just, I don't know. It doesn't want to do the same things my left hand does. Or at least not, not as easily as that. I can't tell if that's Clark outside or a different dog outside barking. Okay, we'll call that for now. Good, good enough. And then usually I would download those off the camera to my computer right now too, but oh, actually I should have done this first. So time to take down the ring light. Oh, we could have sound again. I should have turned this off for you guys while we were uh, <laughs> taking pictures. And I should plug this in so you're not getting echo of it coming out of the speakers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. There you go, no more echo. Let's switch over here game there we go <laughs> give me a heart attack why don't you game uh, bye bye nail cam all right now here we're gonna have to oops don't fall off again beanie cam Here goes the ring light. That's that's loose. Why are you loose? I'm going to need to tighten that later. It shouldn't. Or is it this? Or is it I don't know. It shouldn't be moving around like that. Oh, well, okay. 
I don't, I'm not even using it right now. Let's worry about it later. What a concept. That could go off. Yeah. That's enough lighting, yeah? Doc! Doc! Yes, we're switching. We, uh, oh. Beanie cam. Beanie cam sticks out when I'm moving the ring light. That's why I had to, uh, scoot you guys over for a minute. Can you see, Doc? Oh, come on, Beanie Cam. Beanie Cam doesn't want to cooperate and let Doc see my awesomeness. Maybe you can kind of see. You can check the VOD, Doc. You checked my other VOD, Doc. You saw that I dude it. You saw that I dude the thing. Um, yeah, let's uh, switch over. Uh, nails are did now weekly rando and we'll switch over to hollow night we will switch our tags to rando and and we'll update <laughs> yeah i i was about to be kind of done doc i had finished up my manicure and i was kind of saying my goodbyes and then ash raided me and then i don't know somebody was like hey hollow night and i was like you guys you guys want me to play hollow night and they were like yeah 